I uh, have been living in a cricket world for a long time, and I haven't done a lot of, as Grace would call them, Grace is my granddaughter, um, as Grace would call them, messy. We, <laughs> I tend to stick with things that are neat and clean, and everything's kind of matchy-matchy. So I don't do a lot in the, in the hands-on world, or I haven't. I learned to, to color with Copics and all of those things, but not a lot of, of playing with stamps. Always was blown away by what people could do, but just never thought I knew how to do it. So I decided it was time to give it a try. Making some giant changes in my classroom, giant changes in, in what I do, and Stampin' Up! is my new direction. So today, um, I thought I would show you kind of as I go, how I learn things so that maybe you'll learn them. Hey, Robin, welcome. Glad that you're here. Um, I, you know, I'm not an expert at, at any of this and I'm learning as I go, but I'm hoping that sometimes my mistakes will help you learn as well. And I can show you why I like something and why I was deciding that's just a bad idea and we're not gonna try that at all. So today I'm working with mask, using a mask to stamp two different colors. I've always been, again, really impressed with how that looks and I thought, well, let's give it a shot. So my first experiment is the card that I'm actually showing you and then we're gonna do one together. So let me switch the camera here over to where things are. There, all right, so here we are. And the first thing I decided was I don't want my sentiment in this color. I want my sentiment in gray. So that was first. But what we're actually focusing on is the ability to make this fish come forward and let the, um, hey, Melanie, and let the, um, the seaweed be behind him. Well, the second thing I decided was I don't really like these two colors. So I am switching out my inks to get the color a little bit better to be something a little different. And I love this paper, isn't it cool? Um, I have the links and I'll put this on my, um, on my blog too, so that you can find it later. Cause sometimes these get lost on Facebook and the, the links are there that, so that you can see exactly what the papers are and which ones they are. These are from the um, By the Shore designer series paper from Stampin' Up. And I just love all these. These are all my favorite colors anyway. Okay, so first things first. I took my eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, cut it down. Ooh, stop being blurry. Come on back, you can do it. It hates that white, it really does. Come on, come on. Focus, focus. It's kind of like me in the morning before my glasses come on. There you go. It doesn't like white. Uh, <laughs> so I cut my eight and a half by 11 to and made a five and a half by four and a quarter so there's the base of my card then i use this triple banner punch i've been talking about is my new best friend to make three strips remember this is double-sided so you can see there's like great options all in my favorite color schemes and if you stick with you know, for me, matchy matchy girl, if I stick with the packet of, of paper, I know everything kind of goes together. I don't have to worry about it being the wrong shade. The color families are awesome to work with and I don't have to be concerned. So what I did was, this is a two inch wide, this is a one and a half, and this is a one. I set them up the way I wanted. And you'll notice they're a little longer on this end. I decided how this was gonna fit on my card. Made a little mark. I use my fingernail a lot. I don't know if that's appropriate. And trimmed them down with my trimmer to where I wanted them. So now these, using the snail, I'm 
this is just going to be my my focal point over on the side of my card. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to attach this yet because you know what? If you mess up, you can always get another sheet of this and start again. So now we're going to play with the stamps. And that's the part I still practice with often. Like this was my first one. And it's okay, but I decided I didn't like those colors. I actually like the way the masking worked better with this one with my first one. Okay, but I'm going to use him. So here's the trick. You take your handy dandy scissors and you fussy cut around the stamp that you want to be in your foreground. So I want this fish to be out in front and my weeds to be behind him. Hey Sandy, hi Becky. Becky had to listen to me be in a bad mood this morning. See, I'm doing much better now that I'm actually playing and I put the crazy bookkeeping away. Um, you don't have to be super fussy, but it is fussy cutting for a reason. Now, the one thing that I would recommend that I don't have, I'm out of, oh, maybe I do. I don't think I do. The, the repositionable adhesive. So I don't have any of that. So I'm gonna to have to just kind of hold it in place. But I'll show you what that means. If I had repositionable, that might make my life just a tad easier. But you know, I can manage. Okay, so my fish is cut out. I'm now gonna take my card, my base, and I'm gonna stamp the fish approximately where I want him. See where I have him over here? All right, and I am using the Fullerty Flamingo. I want you to be able to see him though. I'll move you over. And this is my, um, my fish. He is from the Seaside Shore. Make sure he's good and stuck. And you kind of have to look at him to make sure that you have him right side up. His, his top fin is a little bit longer than his bottom fin. Ink this up good. And I'm going to put him right about there. Okay, there he is. I'm liking him. And now, this is my mask. This is going to cover him up. Right? Now, if I had repositionable, I would do that to hold it in place. But I don't have any. So we're just going to have to be confident he's going to stay there. Right? Now I'm going to take my weeds. Now, when I did it in this little sample one, I used green and yellow. This one? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm going to try the blue. But because I haven't done it yet, and I waited to do it with you guys, and this is the Dapper Denim. Um, I'm, whoops, <laughs> don't even ask what just happened. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. Just flipped that across. Fortunately, it didn't land on anything not permanent. <laughs> I love live video. Okay. So I'm going to test this to see what it looks like because I don't know if I'm going to like this color. So I'm going to just grab, this is what happened over there, the little accident. Um, let's just, it's a little dark, but I think I like it better than the green because it's, again, I'm a matchy matchy girl and it's tying in the colors that I have here. It's not adding another color. So I'm gonna stick with the blue. I've got my, my mask is on top of my fish to protect him. I'm gonna ink up my, um, my seaweed. I couldn't think of the word of it. And I just wanna look for a second, because remember I said I liked my test one better than I liked, and I only did two of those. So 
I'm going to do one over on this side. Keep that fish where he belongs, the mask. And then one on this side, a little bit higher, get our fish back where he belongs. And now, isn't that incredible? My mask came off. Now this is what my mask looks like. Icky. But look how cool my fish looks. And he, it really looks dimensional. I, I'm telling you, I was blown away. Over the moon, so excited with my newfound skill. So now I'm ready to bring this in. And I could have used dimensionals, but I didn't. I just I'm just using this now because this is just too cool. I don't need anything else. I'm so excited by them. And now I'm almost reluctant to do the the um, this sentiment. It's almost too much. So I think I'm gonna go with the Ahoy there. And again, I'm gonna stick with similar colors. I know some people like to be really dramatic. I tend to kind of like things to be all the same. So originally I was thinking gray, which I could do, but I'm thinking I really do like this dapper denim. So I think I'm gonna go with dapper denim. So here's my, my sentiment that I'm going to use, which is different than the one on the card where I was practicing. But you know what? I'm also going to practice this because I haven't seen what it looks like yet. So let's see what dapper denim in this sentiment looks like. Ooh, really cool. Right? I like that one. Okay. So that is going to be my sentiment. And it's going to go up here. And I am set. And truthfully, that is probably the third or fourth time that I've actually masked something. So I'm feeling incredibly talented today. <laughs> now, all of you that have been doing this forever are going to be saying, well, you could have done this a little bit better and you could have done that a little bit better. The reason I do this in front of you is to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't. It's okay. And if you make a mistake, try again. It's just paper. All right? Well, thanks for joining me this afternoon. And I'm going to go back and do a little bit more. But yes, this will be on the Facebook page. It will also be at caramiller.com on my blog, along with the supply list of the actual colors that I chose and what I ended up doing. All righty. All right, we'll see you soon.